What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Tyler with Tarver Academy, and today I want to talk to you about the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics, okay? So let's start with descriptive, and you're thinking to yourself, well, Tyler, I can assume what you mean because descriptive means describing. Well, you would be pretty spot on, and so whenever you're using descriptive, you're looking at the data and describing a sample set within the data. So if I said, oh look, here is um, here is a chart and it's got, oh, I just erased it. So you got a chart and you've got different values on this bar graph. And you're saying, oh well, you know, uh, people who like the number one, well, that's this more than the people that like the number two and then that's still not as much as who likes number three. You're just describing what is happening in this chart. Um, you're describing that sample set. You might even describe you know, the numbers in some of the other sections. So that's also prevalent in, um, in your histograms. It's gonna be prevalent in pie charts, bar graphs. You are describing what you are seeing. Um, you're not giving your opinion. Do not, do not misread that. Descriptive means you are describing the data and you are like looking at a sample. It doesn't have to be the entire data. It could be a, a portion of it. It could be you're looking at 20% of your whole data set, but you're describing it. Um, you're using the data to provide descriptions. Um, you're looking at it through numerical calculations, graphs, tables, all of this. You're looking at, it essentially is like you're looking at the facts, okay? You're not making anything up you're not you're making any assumptions or predictions okay we're going to get to that one so you can describe the data um, you can utilize it using um, mean which is your average that's your like you add up everything so if i'm wanting to find the average of you know 20 22 and 24 i would add those together and divide by how many there are there are three of them so i divide it by three so you add those up, you get 66 divided by 3, which is 22. That is your mean, okay? Now, median, that's your middle number. So if I had um, 1, 8, 17, 20, and 45, my middle number, 17. So that's my median. Oh, sorry, wrong one. That one goes there. And then my mode... Um, that is just whatever occurs most frequently. So let's say I, um, let's, we gotta delete this. Um, okay, let's say my numbers were two, um, sorry, two, four, two, six, twelve, twelve, two, and um, 93 <laughs> okay um, what I would do is I would look at this and I would say okay well my mode is gonna be what occurs most often so I've got one two three twos Let's see how many fours one just one there's two twelves but that's not enough not enough sixes or 93 so two occurs the most so that would be my mode Okay. also range and variance you're utilizing essentially the facts of what you have. It is very difficult to argue with descriptive statistics. You are describing what you see. Um, you could even describe, let's say you were doing, um, let's say you were looking at, uh, you had a chart like this, and let's say the graph went something like this. You could even say, like, oh, after, you know, this point right here, it decreases and never goes up. You are just still describing it, even though it's not like giving specific numbers, that's okay. You're still describing what you're looking at and that would fall under descriptive statistics. Okay, so now let's look at inferential. Okay, inferential, um, if descriptive is looking at the facts, you're looking at the facts here, then inferential, you're here, you're drawing conclusions based on a sample set population. So you're drawing conclusions based on what you see. Um, inferential means inferences, okay? You're inferring something based on um, some predictions, 
all right? This might not always be as accurate, but you're also gonna get more insight out of it. Most people can look at a graph and tell you what they see. With inferential, you're using, you're using the probability here to determine whether or not something is correct. Um, so um, let's see, um, I'll give you an example. So let's say I brought in this video um, or picture, screenshot of my video I have on slope intercept form, okay? So I've got 1.7 million views. So let's say I wanted, so that's my, my entire population is 1.7 million, okay? Let's say I want to know the percentage of people that this helped. You don't have an exact, exact statistic of out of all those people, how many clicked on it, watched three seconds, how many watched the whole thing, but didn't comment or do anything with it. However, we can use a sample set within that, the likes and dislikes. So it has 18,000 likes within that, and within that we have 657 dislikes, okay? So those are samples within our larger set, okay? So what I could say is, um, if this is what I'm using as my sample, the people that actually took the time to say, I liked this or I didn't like this, um, then I could just do some quick math and I could say, well, um, if I've got 18,000 and I want to um, add that to my 657, that's my total amount of people that I sampled would be 18,657. Now, let's say I wanna find out how many people did it help, how many enjoyed the video. Well, then I could just divide that um, by the total. So it'd be, I'd go 18, I'm sorry, sorry, 18,000 divided by 18,657. So 96.4, 96.4% of the people. This helped 96.4% of the people. So if I'm going to translate that to the larger 1.7 million, I would do one, seven, we can get the actual number, one, seven, eight, two, six, thirty-seven, I think. All right. Times point nine, six, four. So I'm turning into a decimal. It has helped. I could infer using inferential statistics that this helped or the people that it liked or that helped it would be 1, 000, or 1,718,462 people. That would be inferential statistics. Now, there is going to be a, a margin of error. There is a level of, I could be wrong. It could have, could be more views than people it helped. You know, more people could take the time to like it than the people that, um, you know, took the time to dislike it. So you're inferring. So there is a level, a margin for error, exactly what it sounds like. Um, but that's the, uh, that's the basic difference between descriptive and inferential statistics. Hope this helped. If you could, please subscribe to my channel. This is Tyler with Tarver Academy. Thank you for learning with us today, and I hope you have the best day ever and become the best version of yourself you can. See you guys later.